History was made last night at the Tony Awards when Ali Stroker took home the award for featured actress in a musical or performance. She is now the first actor in a wheelchair to ever win a Tony. The Ridgewood, New Jersey native dedicated her award to those with disabilities. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates has her story. And the Tony Award goes to... Cheers for a history-making night. Ali Stroker! The hometown crowd burst into celebration when Ali Stroker won the Tony for best performance by an actress in a featured role. When she won, it was an incredible scene there. I'm in a terrible fix. Before the lights of Broadway found her, Ali Stroker made her way to this stage at Somerville Elementary School at nine years old in its theater program and sold a village on the fire in her belly. She came in to sing and she sang with the most magical presence Ali lost the use of her legs in a car accident when she was just two years old, so the wheelchair is a way of getting around. Rarely has it ever gotten in her way. She was cast as the lead in The Wiz in 1997. Her mom informs me that Ali should be treated like everyone else, and there's nothing that Ali can't do. And I didn't realize at the time that at that point, Ali's already been on a basketball team. She's gone surfing. She plays sports. Then on to Ridgewood High School's New Players Company, where Meg Schaefer was artistic director before taking the helm. Allie is one of many talents who are making names for themselves in the business. Because of her gorgeous voice and because of her unbelievably emotive acting, she's reduced the whole theater to tears. And I thought, yep, she has it. Everyone knows that saying it takes a village. Well, Allie Stroker has taken her village of Ridgewood to Broadway like no one else has ever done before.